Yeah, I understand that. So is it a matter of the public record that you're a false accuser? So why are you even calling me? This is borderline harassment. Oh, now you're making false accusations against me? Hello, my name is uh, Terry Nemers. Today is January 18th, 2015, and uh, Welcome to another edition of Lion News. Lion News can be found at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Uh, today, what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about this really bizarre conversation that I had with Representative uh, Mary Franson uh, of District 8B. Uh, she just recently settled a lawsuit for defamation. Well, I take that back. Actually, this was, the lawsuit was settled way back in November. She just never told anyone. Uh, but I just recently found out about it on January 15th of 2015. Now, so this means that uh, originally uh, Representative Franson was notified of the lawsuit way back on December 7th of 2013. Uh, the lawsuit was filed in the court on uh, April 22nd, 2014. She went through the election cycle and did not notify anyone that she settled the lawsuit on November 10th of 2015. And then she went and was sworn into office earlier in 2015 without still with still without notifying anyone that she settled this defamation lawsuit and if you read the lawsuit and which will be in the video you'll read sections of it I mean this this person uh, <laughs> she's she, let's just be kind she's different but she's uh, apparently according to the public record uh, a false accuser and, and that's what led up to my conversation with her in which she falsely accused me of borderline harassment and when I asked her when I challenged her about it well then she backed off <laughs> probably not the smartest thing to do after you've just settled a defamation lawsuit is to start falsely accusing people <laughs> you know of borderline harassment but it just shows how dangerous these people really are, these so-called public officials. You know, they just feel that they're so much above the law that they can say whatever they want. Unfortunately for uh, Representative Franson, she should know that I do record my phone conversations. Probably the last person she wants to make false accusations against is me. <laughs> so, anyhow, what happens is uh, I, I called up to her office on the 15th and I spoke to her uh, legislative assistant Kyle Burnt. Uh, you'll hear his conversation then I called her afterwards and then I spoke with uh, the attorney that uh, for Eric Harpel he's the one who sued her uh, the attorney was Patrick T. Turney uh, so I found out what actually happened when it was when the lawsuit was actually settled he sent me some paperwork he actually sent me uh, a copy of the complaint earlier uh, way back in April so you know I actually knew about the lawsuit then but uh, apparently this was all hush hush you know of representative Franson didn't want anyone to know that she settled this you know she had to drop a harassment uh, restraining order against uh, Eric Harple so uh, apparently she just loves to make wild outrageous and unsent un unsubstantiated claims against people to, to, to maintain her position of power. So again, that's why uh, it's it, you need to record any and all conversations with these so-called public servants. I mean, they just can't be trusted. So anyhow, here's the conversation. The, the only conversation I can hear is my conversation with attorney, attorney, attorney. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But anyhow, yeah, it's just going to be uh, Franson's legal aid and her. So enjoy. Bye. Okay, today is January 15th, 2015. It is 8.53 a.m. calling Representative Mary Franson. Representative Mary Franson's office. This is Kyle. 
Yeah, hey, Kyle, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Well, I am doing super. Can't complain on a beautiful, sunshiny day like today. No, temperatures aren't going to be too bad either. Better oh. than what it's been. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Say, uh, yeah. Representative Franson just was sworn in on January 8th. Is that correct? It would have been, I think it was the 6th. 6th? Okay. I, I'm looking at her a press release that says the 8th, so maybe it's... Oh, maybe I might be mistaken. It was posted January 8th, 2013, so it, it's whatever. That's not really the, the point, anyhow. Um, anyhow, uh, she it was being sued by an Eric Harple, case number 21CV14578, and apparently it's been settled. Uh, there was some correspondence that sent, was sent on January 9th, 2015, docket number ID 12, and then... Uh, the case was settled or set for pre-trial at 11:15 a.m. in front of uh, uh, Judge Batty, and it says uh, it's settled. So, um, and I don't see anything in the news about that. So, um, is is this case settled or is it not settled? You know, unfortunately, I'm not sure on that situation. I have heard anything on that. Okay, because I sent an email to Representative uh, Franson this morning uh, asking her, this is my email, Representative Mary Franson, our district, uh, yeah, whatever, please email me a copy of the lawsuit filed against you, case number 21CV14578, Eric Harple versus uh, Mary Franson. Two, send me a copy of the settlement. Three, a copy of any press releases for the settlement, uh, Terry D. Nemers. P.S. Are you a false accuser? So um, I just want to know if um, Representative Franson is going to respond to my email and send me that information. Um, I can definitely remind her when she's back in the office. I'll let her know okay. um, that, that you called, that you were looking to get some sort of inf information on that. I can do that. Well, yeah, I would appreciate that. Um, also, I was reading an article. Um, it says that... Uh, that Representative Franson was uh, notified of this lawsuit way back in December of 2013 and uh, I'm just trying to figure out if uh, she knew about this all throughout the whole election and then instead of you know she planned on settling this you know way back then but just decided she'd get elected first get sworn into office first and then settle the lawsuit you know I mean that way she'd be in office she could say you know what all you people can take a flying leap. I've lied to you, you know, for a whole year, you know, that I wasn't, you know, making uh, defamatory statements against, you know, one of my colleagues. So, I, you know, apparently that's the way she works, you know, because like, uh, apparently she had to drop a harassment suit, too. So, apparently she uses the courts to destroy people's reputations to, to maintain her position of power. And, so I just want to know if, if that's your your uh, opinion of her or what. Um, I haven't I haven't actually uh, been following too much with that sort sort of thing. Um, just kind of got to know her just last week when I started working with her. So okay, um, so it's probably not a, quite a I, fair question for you then. I, I yeah I, I haven't gotten to know her too well, but from what I've seen so far, she's been upstanding lady. She's been very kind to me, so I'm not sure. I can of course pass on all the information that you've provided me and let her know and see. Uh, sure. I'll get back to you. Sure. Uh, when is she going to be in the office? Let me take a look here. Oh, she had a pretty busy day today because of some changes in her schedule. Um, pretty much she's in uh, committees all day, so the only time that she'll be in is probably in between them. So they're kind of going to be, if she shows up, um, sometimes she will go get lunch for someone or something, so I'm not quite sure exactly when she'll be in. Okay. Well, I guess what I'm doing, uh, what I'm trying to figure out is, is it possible for me to set up a time to speak with her? Um, yeah. Let me see what I can figure out here. And are you with any group or anything at all? Or? Uh, I'm just a regular individual. I, I'm from her area. In fact, I, I sent her some information about uh, uh, 
Senator Bill Ingebretson, you know, uh, having a ticket fixed in Alexandria, and she didn't appreciate me sending her that information. So I just live uh, about 15 miles south of Alexandria. Actually, like in your district, though? No, 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 no. I'm just a concerned individual who happens to go to Alexandria on a regular basis, and it's a lawless county, so it's obviously a lawless district. So that's why I want to find out, you know, and apparently she has no problem, you know, participating in that lawlessness. So, you know, again, that's why I'm, I I'm, want to call her and ask her some of these questions. Well, looking at her schedule right now, she's pretty busy for the next couple weeks, unfortunately. Let's see if I can. Because almost every day that she's, almost every single time that she's not in session so far, she'll be um, in meetings with constituents and. Yeah, well, I'm sure that uh, people walk in and that she takes time out of her day to speak to them too. So I'm sure she can, you can find a spot to, to put me in. Well, from what I'm seeing right here, it looks like the closest thing I got, unfortunately, looks to be on February uh, 17th. I can give her, I can talk to her though and see what she's got, if, if she wants to. Fit you, if she can fit you in at another time. But that's kind of what I'm showing on her schedule right now. Well, I, could, I suppose I could always call her at home. Would she prefer that? Um, typically, I, whenever I set up things for her, that's, I, haven't gotten to talk, I haven't gotten to know her well enough to know exactly what her preferences are. So <laughs> <laughs> well, that's simple. Either she wants to talk to me in her office or I can call her at her home, her choice. And unfortunately, I don't know what she would prefer. I haven't asked her that question before. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you put me down for February 17th, and what time is this going to be? Um, looks like here, 11 o'clock. Okay, 11 a.m. Of course, she is more than welcome to call me back and set up a different time. Or call me back. Well, I prefer that I know ahead of time, so... You know, I can be prepared. I just don't want her calling me out of the blue. You know, just like I'm having to set up a scheduled time to speak to her, I think she should have to schedule a time to speak to me, too. So, But do you have my phone number? Um, no. Can I grab that from you? Sure. 320-283-5713. Three, three, five, five, three. And the name was Terry, T as in Tom, E-R-R-Y, Nemers, N as in Nancy, E. Amazon Mary, Amazon Mary, E R S. Okay, I got that set up then for you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, bye. Bye now. Okay, January 15th, 2015, 909 a.m., calling Representative Mary Franson. Hello? Hello, who is this? The, who, is this Representative Franson? Hello? Yeah? This is Terry Nemers. How are you doing today? What do you need, Terry? Well, I just found out that you settled your uh, defamation complaint or a suit with uh, Eric Harple, and I sent you an email, uh, so I want to get a copy of the lawsuit, a uh, copy of the settlement, and any press releases for the settlement. Then I want to know if you're a false accuser. Um, it's public record, so... Oh, so you're not? So in other words, when uh, 
Mr. Harple's attorney sent me a copy of the, the complaint. You're not going to? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying, Terry, it's public record. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. So is it a matter of the public record that you're a false accuser? So why are you even calling me? This is borderline harassment. Oh, now you're making false accusations against me? Have a good day, Terry. <laughs>